So we're going to start with the editing the student, the discipline infraction codes. And I got there by going under discipline, more discipline editing jobs, and edit the infraction codes. In here, you have a list of, it's an up to four character code for your discipline infraction. Now, depending on the state that you have, some of the states dictate what that code has to be. Others, there is a mapping procedure done so that you can set up whatever code you want, but then you map it, your code to the state code. Beyond that, you have a code, you have a description. Now, some of these were from when our description was shorter. So you have the ability now to be able to come in and make them longer to make it a little bit more readable as to what's going to show on things like mail merge letters to the parents or other reports. And it's just a matter of you can go in and just put in a longer description to make it be more uh, easily understood. There are four columns to and say what this involves, whether it is drug, alcohol, violence, weapons, or bullying. And there is an additional column of whether or not it's available on the web. And what that means is if it's available on the web, these are the infractions that are available to the teacher to be able to put in an infraction. So something like left class without permission probably should be something that the teacher fills in. You know, a tobacco violation. Some of the things like that that you can just come in and specify which ones you want the teachers to have access to. And you would add records here as it says, you go up to the yellow plus, you add in another code. If you are just shifting from a system where you could put any code you want and the state is now requiring certain codes, such as for fighting, all you would need to do is come in here. I double clicked on the code, I can type in the new code. And when I save it, it's going to say, oh, if I use that anywhere, I'm going to change all of those assignments for, you know, all of those places I used it, and it will change it to make it easier for you. Once you have all your infractions in, I'm going to use my save and exit button to close this out. I would go in under discipline, more discipline editing jobs, and I would edit my action codes. So the infraction is what did they do wrong? The action are the consequences. The actions can be as easy as just a demerit, or you might have deduct demerits or call them merits, whichever way you would like. So the units can be both a positive and a negative number. You can come down further and say, oh, now I have a little bit more uh, important things that I'm going to work with. As with the infractions, it is a four character code and those characters is letters or numbers or any combination. You have a description, the number of units, um, it could be used for the demerits as I said earlier, it could be indicating eventually how many days of in or out of school suspensions or how many sessions of detention the student has. You can set up an auto assign daily code. So for things like my out of school suspension or my in school suspension, what this is doing is we have specified a daily attendance code so that when we assign these two specific infractions or actions to the student, that it will prompt us, do we want to add that into their attendance records at the same time? So it means one less step that you need to do. You can indicate here whether these are in school, out of school suspensions, were they removed to alternate ed, or was there an expulsion? And you'll be able to do counts on these later or be able to limit these are the ones you want to see. You have a status of opened or closed. So something like a detention would probably be open until such time as it is served. Out of school suspension might be closed automatically because they're out until they come back in versus an in-school suspension would be open again until it is served. A warning would be closed. Uh, other items might be open like they phoned the parent guardian or a probation officer, if there was no answer, they can put that in. The available for the web is indicating which actions, if any, 
you want to be available to the teacher to associate with the infraction. So you might have a teacher detention that is different than, say, a school detention. So that might be something that the is available to the teacher. The out-of-school suspension or in-school suspension are probably never going to be available to the teacher to assign. Privileges revoked or reinstated might be. Um, the fact that they phoned the parent guardian or phoned and got no answer is something that you might want to consider giving the, the teachers access to. If you do not assign or check any of the actions to be available for web, that means none of them are there and the teachers can only enter the infraction and not the action side of it. 